hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, in this video I would now show you uh, how to design a simple uh, AC to DC power supply uh, using rectifier bridge and transformer uh, so let's start create new schematic place diode in the full bridge uh, rectifier diode we use 4 diodes press ctrl r to rotate copy sorry now let's select the model 1N4007 we would use 1N4007 rectifier diode so <coughs> the 1N4007 rectifier diode is not available in the uh, library of the LT spice so I will show you how to uh, add the spice model third party spice model in this uh, rect uh, rectifier diode symbol I have already downloaded, downloaded the 1N4007 spice model and placed it in my root directory of LT spice so I would place the here the opcode spice directory dot include and I will copy paste the model here the path here I will copy paste the path here see program files LT spice library subdirectory ok now backslash here again 1n4007 dot lib press enter and that is it this command will automatically read the 1n4007 dot lib file from this path on your computer or your pc ok now we have to uh, press right control we have to press the left control and right click on this model on this symbol and right here in place of the value of D we write D1 and 4007 D is for diode ok so D1 and 4007 this D tells the LT spice that it is a diode model ok now, <clears throat> now copy this diode and copy both of them. Now wire them up cathode to cathode and anode to anode. Cathode to anode and cathode to anode. <coughs> the cathode to cathode terminal would, would be the output of the rectifier diode. So now we would place a polar capacitor. A polar capacitor is used to filter the output from the rectifier diode. Okay. Right. Now we would select, uh, let's say, 470 microfarad. We we usually use a bigger capacitor at the output in order to properly filter the ripples from the rectifier diode output now <coughs> we would place the voltage source that is AC source now we know that the voltage is the voltage from our AC wall socket is 220 volt RMS so in order to convert this RMS into peak we multiply this voltage to 1.414 this is root 2 root 2 times the VRMS is the peak value of the signal of the voltage source that is 311 volt peak to peak 311 volt peak to peak sine wave amplitude 311 volt peak sorry 311 volt peak or we can say it is amplitude 
and frequency as we know is it is 50 hertz press ok now uh, the next step is in the designing of the transformer the transformer has the two windings that is primary and control E to flip this component this is secondary ok now <coughs> the primary and secondary turns ratio n1 is the primary divided by n2 is the secondary is the primary voltage divided by the secondary voltage ok so we have primary voltage 220 volt and let's say we we need 12 volt DC output so we would select 12 volt therefore <coughs> the turns ratio would be 220 divided by 12 18.3 18.33 now <coughs> now the now as we know that here the inductance inductor has an inductance but there is no option of the turns ratio so we have to convert our turns ratio in the form of the inductance so the formula of uh, turns ratio in the form of inductance is n is equal to s q r t square root of l1 upon l2 okay so we would actually square the turns ratio we would square the turns ratio to get the uh, l1 upon l2 L1 upon L2 equals to square of N therefore L1 upon L2 is equal to square 336.1 336.11 or we can say 336 therefore L1 would be equal to 336 L2 now we select L1 equals to 336 and L2 to be equal to 1. Okay. Now let's wire them up. Now this secondary would go in this terminal and load and cathode and this primary would go in this terminal cathode and load ok so this has been wired up now we place the ground connection ok and now we place the output node for measurement this is the input node so let's see what happens when we press run ok let's say it is 100 millisecond ok now simulation is running let's first set, see yes this is the AC voltage as you can see the voltage is peaking at 300 and 10 volt 11 volt as we calculated so that is perfectly ok this is sine wave AC AC sine wave from the socket ball socket and uh, this is VN001 that is the uh, output of the rectifier diode uh, output of the uh, transformer ok yes we are not getting any voltage here because because we have not coupled the inductance we have to use the coupling factor because the software does not know that they are coupled with each other with the transformer uh, uh, core 
so we have to use the coupling factor that is let say it is k1 l1 l2 coupling factor of 1 this coupling factor would tell the spy simulator ld spy simulator that these two inductors are actually a transformer okay now let's see now it this input voltage should be coupled into the secondary the voltage from the primary would be coupled into the secondary with a tight coupling of 1.0 factor now let's see what happens the output should be uh, around 14 volt or 12 volt okay now here is another error this error says that the voltage v1 and inductor l1 are parallel making an over defined circuit matrix this error is common and it has a solution just place a 1 ohm resistor in series with the in series with the primary winding and the voltage source that's it and all the simulation should run yes now as we can see this is the ac voltage that we are getting 16 volt peak and minus 63 16 volt peak to peak this is the voltage step down voltage right as you can see the voltage has been stepped down this is the input ac supply and this is the uh, voltage at the output of the transform transformer here now we would check the output of the bridge yes as you can see the output of the bridge is exactly the dc 15 volt 15.6 volt all over the span as you can see the voltage is 15.6 volt dc at the output of the bridge And here is this is this uh, rise this uh, ri uh, rise time behavior is due to the capacitor charging effect. This is the capacitor charging effect. The capacitor at the output. Now let us connect the load. Let's say we use the load of 500 ohms, and we use an LED. we select an LED random LED this LED let us select and now wire them up with the voltage source now this LED and resistor should draw a current this resistor is actually the current limiting resistor for this LED in order to prevent it from burning so this resistor would limit the current to this LED and we would see that the current would flow from this resistor and voltage would be dropped a little bit now let's see yes yeah as you can see the current ir2 the current is 23 milliampere 23 milliampere current and it is perfectly fine 23 milliampere is well enough for the LED to glow it up but as we can see that the current ripple is uh, is a little bit high the current maximum is 23.38 milliampere and current minimum is 22.6 milliampere this can be this can be reduced this ripple this current ripple can be reduced okay now let's see what we can do for this we can place a series resistor here in order to prevent a uh, sudden charging of the current because uh, sudden charging of the capacitor because at time t is equal to zero the capacitor behaves as a short circuit so we have to use a series resistor at the output of the 
ब्रिज एक्टिफायर टू प्रिवेंट इट फ्रॉम करंट स्पाइक्स और ट्रांजिएंट्स ओके नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू व्यू दिस सिमुलेशन इन अ मच इन इन अ मच डीपर वे we need to increase the simulation time because in 100 millisecond it cannot be seen very clearly what is happening so let us increase the time to 1000 millisecond that is 1 second it means that after the switch is on uh, the the simulation would run for 1 second now let's see yes now here as you can see that this green signal and this green voltage is the input ac voltage 220 volt rms and this ir2 this is the load current as you can see the load current is 22 milliampere 22 milliampere well enough for the led to glow up okay and output voltage is a little bit uh, dropped from 16 volt to 14.75 volt 14.75 volt this is the dc voltage at the output and this is the dc current at the output that is load i hope this video was useful for you guys to get a know how about how to design a simple uh, ac to dc converter using a transformer that is made from two inductors coupled with uh, each other and a full wave bridge rectifier and a filter capacitor thank you very much for your time please like and share my video and subscribe to my channel